Preston Salen here with Home Inspection Carolina. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how home inspections have changed over the years. Um, when I started out way back, we actually used to use Polaroid pictures. And uh, we used these carbon um, uh, three-part um, reports. I got an example to show you. Um, this is from back. This is actually from 99. But... Uh, we started back in the mid 90s. Home inspections didn't even become a profession until the, uh, probably the mid 80s. In the old days, everybody worked for the buyer. I mean, I'm sorry, the seller. Um, so the home inspection is actually kind of a newer thing. Started in the 80s, but uh, we got into it in the mid 90s. And this was, these were uh, handwritten reports and they were three parts. You're just looking at one part. It was like a white copy, a yellow copy. And they were all checklists, um, you know, and different things could go wrong. You know, you would check and explain what they were. And then there was, was a summary page. Um, actually wasn't a bad system. Um, it, and, and we would fill them out right there at the uh, inspection and uh, divide them out on the hood of the truck. And uh, the, the agent would get one. The, the buyer would get one. And we kept one. And this, these are my copies of the ones. You know, these are uh, well over 20 years old now. But um, that's how it all started out. And we actually took Polaroid pictures back then. And we would, you know, document, see this, then picture one, picture two. This is before digital cameras even came out. So then came the advent of digital cameras. And we were top of the line, man. We got one of the first uh, digital Mavicas that had a three and a half inch floppy in there. Uh, and we went to digital, digital reports. Uh, and it was cool, man. I mean, we were like state of the art. This is 1.3 megapixels. Woo! -hoo. Um, we could take about 35 pictures, and you'd have to put another disc in. Uh, you'd have to have extra batteries. Uh, but yeah, we went to digital reports. That was a big thing, and um, digital pictures. Now we have digital um, reports and pictures with arrows and interactive stuff, videos. Pretty cool. Uh, graduated now. This is what I use now, which is a. Um, I've had a bunch of digital cameras over the years, but this is a um, Olympus. Uh, tough, um, and you can flip the screen around if you're talking, and see exactly what. Um, you know what what you're seeing and this is crooked here let me see if I can straighten this out just a little bit I apologize about that let's see if I can straighten it up some hopefully that'll hold up <laughs> I'm not sure about this tripod I'm using it's new <laughs> it looks like it's slipping but anyway so this is what we use today um, you know and I can take thousands of pictures it's pretty tough waterproof shockproof that sort of thing digital pictures with um, arrows links uh, videos um, it's come a long way also we have now um, you know home inspection has got to where uh, it's still not standard on every um, let's see let me move this every um, inspection but we've gone to uh, we can use um, infrared I don't know why the palette's not on here let's see let me enter that select I don't know what, but anyway, we have digital cameras. Um, <clears throat> we take digital photos. We can look for anomalies, um, things like that. Uh, it can't see through walls, but it can detect when there's an anomaly going on and, and sometimes can clue you in when there's missing insulation, possibly a, a leak or something like that. It's better than the naked eye. Um, we've also got into uh, now doing um, uh, uh, air quality testing and radon testing. Uh, here's a, um, uh, an air sampler. Uh, we put aerosols on here and um, we can test, you know, the uh, air for uh, different types of uh, fungus, uh, mold, that sort of thing, spore count, um, to see how the indoor air quality is. I, I guess in all, you know, home inspections, if I had to say something, I would say, you know, they started out, there weren't home inspections before the, the 80s, the early 80s. Um, everybody was just buyer beware. And then home inspections came about to uh, help out the buyer. And over time, they've got a little bit more detailed, more better. Uh, the equipment's gotten better, a lot better, too. Um, there are standards in practice throughout the country. 
Um, a lot of them copied the uh, ASHI standards of practice, the original. Uh, there's two big organizations right now, ASHI and InterNACHI. Um, check out those websites. They both have standards in practice, and many of these states have adopted um, or something similar to that, um, the standards in practice. Each state that has licensing, not, not all states have licensing. Uh, North Carolina and South Carolina both do. Um, they have a standards in practice for you know what home inspectors are supposed to do. But uh, I've been at this now for about, 23 four years now i've seen a lot of changes and uh, i'm sure we'll see some more changes coming forward uh, if you have any home inspection questions or anything about home inspection check out we have two websites uh, homeinspectioncarolina.com or ask the charlotte inspector.com uh, this has uh, been a video about how home inspections have changed over the years thanks a lot for watching